try this again. The thing about snowmobiling is like the main reason you go out, well I guess maybe not the main, but one of the perks of going out in a snowmobile is you just go out and you find somewhere to eat. Let the front of your snowmobile eat too on some dirt. I think that's one of the coolest perks about snowmobiling. Wow, that field is not my friend. Whoa! I didn't know we were crossing ponds. Nothing like ripping on the old skidoos. Man, I haven't been on this trail in like probably eight years. The, the first year I ever met Jake, this is the trail I went on the first day I ever met Jake the Toilet Snake. Like, I knew who he was, but I didn't really hang out with him. I like riding with Justin. He's my kind of person. He likes to go fast when he likes to go fast, but he also likes to enjoy the riding and not just, like, go complete snow cross. Just don't get me wrong, I love to go full snow cross, but I also want to do that, like, relax riding. You know how sometimes you just get in your vehicle to just drive just to drive? Kind of like that. Lake crossing! So we were originally going to go to Chautauqua County, but now we're actually going to go to Cattaraugus County. A couple more seconds there and that snowplow would have just threw a whole bunch of slush at me. Slush! Slush! Justin, Justin overpassed it. Oh, he's turned around. He gave her way too much juice. I almost did, but I didn't. And I was going so fast. I was acting like a parachute more than ever before. Hey, this thing's a break. <laughs> I didn't know it turned around. You could fly. Well, dude, I was pushing like 85 and I was like, oh, there's a turn. <laughs> See, this wood stuff at like this time of night looks so cool. You don't ever see this like on TV or on YouTube. And here we are just cruising right through it. This is a sight of New York not a lot of people get to see. Oh, look at that fort. Well, it's actually a deer stand, but yeah, it's a, a fort. I'll follow you. This used to be an old railroad track. It's amazing how our ancestors just did all this work and now it's not even used anymore. It's nuts. You know where this is, right? Huh? This is just leaving Cataraugus. I think we were supposed to turn back there. These guys looks like they have GSXs too. Yep. Same sled I got, just uh, maybe even the same year. We'll just get gas now and then we don't have to worry about it. There's the gas sign. Here's the drop down Justin was talking about. Only 87. These guys need to get with the times. They only have 87? Yeah. I can't run 87. They need to get out of the Stone Age. I can't run 87. Yeah. I'm sure it's not going to put diesel in it. It'll run better on this than nothing, Justin. Well, I'm filled up. I can't believe it took 10 gallons. Holy smokes. I'm glad I filled up. <laughs> Where you on, I guess I must have been. 10 gallons, holy crap. I know some cars that don't take that. Try pulling it off and doing it. Is it on there? Is a chip on there? That would be something, huh? At least you got pull start, though. Must have a bad connection or something. Here, open that thing up. Oh wow, you're missing the nut. There's a nut that goes behind the battery. 
and then that screws into it. So that's not a big deal. Don't fish it out, just leave it. Here, pull start it and see if it runs without that on there. It'll run without it. Probably have to buy it as a set. You think so? Yeah, it'd probably be like a buck fifty. Oh, that's it? Yeah. Yeah. You'll just have to pull start it for now. No big deal. What's that? You'll just have to pull start it for now. Oh shit. It might just it might still be in there, really. Oh my goodness, it might still be in there. Holy smokes. Yeah, get a screwdriver. You would be the luckiest sucker ever. Because usually the nuts just fall right out once they loosen up. You are so lucky. Is that a nest? Yeah. Hey, wait a minute. No, 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 I gotta tighten it. Yep, should be all set now. That's so crazy. You hit so hard. Not only did you screw your helmet momentarily and go in reverse, but you also disconnected your battery. <laughs> well, loosen the, the nut. This thing's gotta go in here. Well, it's a good thing that it came that you realized it now because that bolt probably would have came loose and then you would have been See my snowmobile doesn't have the toolkit. Oh it doesn't? Nope. It has <laughs> it's got the box but it doesn't have the actual tools, which sucks. You're actually riding with a ticking time bomb because I don't have a spare belt either. Yeah, you do. <laughs> no, I don't. Oh, or no. tools. I'm I'm like a ticking. Oh, so these should work. No, remember we we tried to do it last time. Yeah, the belt wouldn't work. Yeah. Don't the... bring a new belt. You'll be fine. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It's supper time. Yep. Cool? I like this better than the Apex. Yep. But the thing about the Apex is, those engines go for like 10,000 miles without a rebuild. You know, that's just how it works. I just thought of this right now. Here, Justin's sled gives, gives him a little difficulty, you know, nothing huge. That doesn't deter us from like talking good about our sleds. Like my sled also just like, the key wasn't on all the way, so it like revs out and doesn't move. But it's still, you know, it's your sled and you, you like it. That's all there is to it. Justin and I, we're, we're surrounded by a whole bunch of people. So we don't want to look too ridiculous, but we made it here. We're going to get something to eat. Uh, we both ordered uh, fish fries, right, fish Justin? Fish he, got, he got the regular uh, fish fry uh, batter. I got the beer batter, so I'm just going to be, you know, slurring my words, uh, probably, you know, hitting trees and stuff in my sled. <laughs> God only knows what's going to happen. No, I don't think we're going to have a problem. But uh, I'm looking forward to the fish. And um, there's actually a snow cross event, uh, like, going on right now. Justin, like, brought it up. And we could, uh... Oh, they're nice. They're, they're beautiful. Yeah, I, I thought the trails were nice, considering there's not that much snow. There's, there, yeah, there's... It's still good riding. Fastest fish fry ever. Justin and I made it to the races. We're we're gonna enter our sleds right now. We're gonna <laughs> we're going in it. We're gonna race it. There's there's only a few cops today, but uh, look at all the sleds. There's quite a few of them. We got the two skidoers. We got some articats. We got some skidoos. They're brapping. That guy in the outer shelf, man, he was freaking booking. Rap, rap, rap! Well, you guys, I didn't necessarily break down. The, uh, the belt's actually shot. It's missing, like, a whole bunch of notches. And I could feel, like, an inconsistency while I was driving. And we were just about to get into country. A bunch of the belt was missing. So we turned back, came to the gas station that we originally came to, and now we're waiting for Kyle S to pick us up. I originally tried to buy a spare and the belt, so I had two belts, because as you guys know, I don't, this snowmobile only came with one. But for some reason, one of the belts never came in. I'm like, oh, if it didn't come in, that's a sign that I don't need it, but I clearly need it. Hey, sorry for being a pain. <laughs> I thought the snow would blow off some. <laughs> This thing was froze to the ground too, so I had to back into it and push it around a little bit. Back into it? Yeah. <laughs> Tires are froze right to the ground. All I did was spin the hitch a little bit. <laughs> hey Justin, you did such a good job there. You want to load mine too? I'll let you feel what a real machine feels like. <laughs> Says the guy who has a broken sled. I 
I made it home. We all made it home. No worries. You guys will see it soon, but there were a couple of lugs off my belt that were, they were gone. I could tell every time the belt went around that there was like an inconsistency and I could just tell that the, the belt was going to go. And I'd rather play it safe than be sorry and stuck in the woods. Justin didn't have a toe strap. I didn't have a toe strap. We would have been completely screwed. So we're all safe. And what better way to end a 3D Machines production than with... That's right, fan mail. say I'm glad I didn't pour the rest of that out. Looks like a freaking Snowden here. Somebody else is worried about my nuts. It's, it's another torque wrench. Guaranteed forever. See, I, I've told you guys multiple times we all think alike. Dalton, I've been watching 3D Machines for just over three years. After seeing Jake the Toilet Snake get the world's longest ticket, I was totally hooked. That was a good video. You inspired me to wrench on my own vehicles. In order to keep you alive in the Dirty Max running safe, I decided you needed a torque wrench. I know you've complained about the one you have right now from the Inferior Parts Store. Yep, you and Bronco Carl are on the same page. Fan David Towser, Wallet Lake, Michigan. Thank you, David. You and Carl are definitely on the same page. Let's just say I have a backup. <laughs> You guys do not have to send me extremely nice stuff like this. I hope you guys enjoyed this 3D Machines production. I have to clean up. Until tomorrow, 3D Machines out. Don't forget to smash that like button. Where's the vacuum?